Hi guys, JT here and today we bring you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle Pixel Pride Bundle of June 2023. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? I would love to hear from you guys, so if you have any thoughts and opinions on this bundle, please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, let's get into this. And number one, we have Boyfriend Dungeon. A dating simulator game where you can date people who transform into weapons to fight through dungeons. The game approaches a unique concept of sincerity and thoughtfulness. You play as a character with no dating experience who moves to the seaside town of Verona Beach. With the help of your matchmaking cousin Jesse, you navigate the world of love by battling monsters in the dungeon. In the dungeon, you discover that certain people in Verona Beach can turn into weapons and you can wield them in combat. Dating and dungeon crawling are intertwined in Boyfriend Dungeon. You go on dates in different locations in Verona Beach and level up your relationships by taking on romantic interests, who are also weapons, into the dungeon. The game features real-time conversation choices and text conversations to develop your relationships. Each romance option corresponds to a different weapon, providing variety in gameplay. While Boyfriend Dungeon explores dark themes such as fear, change, and intimacy, it has faced controversy surrounding a character named Eric, who displays emotional manipulation and stalking. The developers have updated a content warning to better describe these interactions, addressing the serious issues portrayed in the game. Despite some pacing issues where the story and dungeons progress quickly, Boyfriend Dungeon offers an engaging and fulfilling experience. The game's earnestness and care in storytelling make it a compelling and empowered queer narrative. Although the dating aspect can be superficial, the overall fantasy and a genuine belief in the story from the developers shine through. Boyfriend Dungeon successfully combines a sense of humor with serious themes, leaving players satisfied with the outcome and eager to learn more about the game's world and characters. And number two, we have Growing Up, a life simulation game. In this game, you have the opportunity to shape your character's life from infancy to adulthood. The game focuses on your choices and their consequences as you navigate through different stages of childhood. As you progress, you meet various characters with their own personalities and backstories, forming relationships or choosing to distance yourself from them. The game offers different locations to explore, each with tasks related to specific skills and career paths. The main emphasis is on choice and the outcomes that result from them, similar to choose your own adventure stories. The game also incorporates minigames in the form of exams, where your character's mastery of skills affects the results. Your character's moods and your parents' approval play a significant role in the game, impacting your motivation, access to items, and allowance. Failing to please your parents can have negative consequences. However, the game provides three chances before a game over, allowing for retries. Although the gameplay may become repetitive after multiple playthroughs, it provides an opportunity to reflect on the impact of relationships and choices. The game addresses serious issues like drug abuse, homosexuality, and neglect, allowing for different outcomes in subsequent attempts. The charming aesthetic and music add to the game's appeal, with each stage of childhood accompanied by appropriate songs. Set in the 1990s, growing up captures the challenges faced by young people in that era. If you're seeking a lighter gaming experience compared to larger titles, Growing Up offers an engaging narrative and a plethora of options to explore. It encourages contemplation of personal relationships, self-reflection, and the balance between work and play. Ultimately, Growing Up presents an imaginative approach to life simulation, capable of captivating players for hours despite occasional repetitiveness. And number three, we have Super Lesbian Animal RPG an indie game offering a charming and wholesome adventure. Inspired by classic turn-based RPGs, it tells a heartwarming story about love, anxiety, and battling funny-looking monsters in dungeons. Set in the Sapphire Islands, the game follows Melody Amaranth as she discovers her deep love for her best friend, Allison. Determined to support Allison's adventures, as an adventurer, Melody joins her as a healer. However, their journey takes unexpected turns as they become entangled in the forces beyond their control, becoming responsible for their hometown's fate. Along the way, they encounter colorful characters, face spherical frogs, befriend robots, and even ruffle the feathers of the local librarian. Super Lesbian Animal RPG features a delightful, retro-inspired art style reminiscent of 16-bit classics, accompanied by a remarkable original soundtrack composed by Beatrix Quinn. The gameplay is accessible and enjoyable, with no grinding nor random encounters. Players can explore the Sapphire Islands, embark on story-driven side quests, and uncover secrets. Customization is key, as players can freely customize their party using spellbooks to unlock new abilities, adding depth to the combat system. The game's narrative shines, focusing on a blossoming romance between Melody and Allison, while addressing themes of anxiety and self-discovery. The writing is filled with humor, charm, and emotional moments that resonate with players. 
This game handles LGBTQ plus representation positively and inclusively, making it a significant addition to the genre. With an estimated playtime of 10 to 15 hours, Super Lesbian Animal RPG offers a compact yet fulfilling experience. It contains mild suggestive humor, PG-13 swearing, fantasy violence, and sequences of unreality. Some parts may cause eye strain due to the highly saturated colors. In summary, Super Lesbian Animal RPG is an outstanding indie RPG that combines classic gameplay with a heartwarming story and diverse characters. It captures the essence of the genre while delivering a unique and inclusive experience. Whether you're a fan of RPGs or enjoy a well-crafted story, the game is definitely worth exploring. And number 4 we have Celeste, an engaging and vibrant platformer that offers a challenging experience while incorporating a compelling narrative. The game adds a story to a genre that often lacks one. In Celeste, you play as Madeline, a determined young girl on a mission to climb the treacherous Celeste Mountain. The mountain is dangerous and seemingly haunted, but Madeline sees it as a personal challenge to overcome her own struggles. The platforming gameplay requires precise movement, quick reflexes, and careful navigation through various hazards like spikes, falls, and red ooze. Madeline can jump, dash, and climb walls with additional abilities and modifiers introduced throughout the game. One notable aspect of Celeste is its incorporation of a narrative that aligns with its gameplay. The story revolves around Madeline's journey to find inner peace and deals with themes of self-discovery. The game's difficulty is intertwined with the protagonist's mindset, creating a meaningful connection between gameplay and storytelling. The moments of triumph and failure experienced while playing mirror Madeline's emotional and mental struggles. The game introduces characters haunted by their own demons, adding depth to the narrative. While the platforming remains challenging, Celeste strikes a balance by including open-ended areas focused on light puzzles, serving as tutorials for new gameplay elements. The game offers a sense of progression and accomplishment, making it accessible to players who may not typically finish difficult platformers. Despite its strengths, Celeste has a few drawbacks. Some players found the sections involving wind to be tedious and momentum-breaking, detracting from the overall experience. However, these moments are relatively infrequent. In conclusion, Celeste stands out as an engaging and challenging platformer that successfully integrates narrative elements into its gameplay. It offers a paced experience, allowing for moments of reflection and triumph. Whether you enjoy platformers or are seeking a game with compelling story, Celeste is highly recommended. And number 5 we have Later Alligator, an adventure game. The game features a stylized art style presented in 2D or 2.5D and is played from a mixed perspective. In Later Alligator, you play as a private investigator called to help a nervous alligator named Pat to uncover the truth behind a secret event his family is hosting. The game takes place in Alligator New York City, where you navigate the city and interact with a large cast of eccentric alligator characters. The game is filled with witty and hilarious writing, which constantly keeps you amused. The dialogue is accompanied by excellent 2D character animations that bring the vibrant and lively characters to life. The gameplay heavily relies on various minigames, ranging from crane games to tile sliding puzzles, with most of them being enjoyable and funny. Although the game has a time mechanic, the consequences of running out of time are not too harsh, and you can choose to play at your own pace without feeling rushed. Later Alligator encourages replayability, as there are more family members to meet and an extended ending to uncover in subsequent playthroughs. The game seamlessly allows you to start again without repeating the beginning dialogue and tutorial material. Exploring Alligator New York City is a joy, with each screen featuring fun details and interactive elements. The game's visual style is reminiscent of animated cartoons and is beautifully executed. The grayscale backgrounds add to the nostalgic detective movie feel, while the colorful Alligator characters stand out against the backdrop. The soundscape complements the game well, with humorous sound effects and catchy location-specific scores. While later Alligator may not appeal to traditional adventure game fans due to its minigame-heavy gameplay and lack of traditional puzzles, it offers a unique and consistently funny experience. The game's short playtime and lack of voice acting are minor drawbacks, but the overall charm, replayability, and enjoyable gameplay make later Alligator a delightful choice for players of all ages. And number 6 we have Bad End Theater a captivating visual novel that offers players an immersive experience through its multiple endings and intriguing gameplay. While the game's pixel graphics, storyline, and cute dialogues may appear ordinary at first, it surprises players with its depth and complexity. In Bad End Theater, you step into the shoes of one of the four characters, the Maiden, the Hero, the Overlord, or the Underling. Each character presents a unique perspective and a set of choices, shaping the outcome of the story and the destiny of its characters. With each decision you make, you unlock different endings, providing a sense of agency and replay value. What makes this game even more intriguing is the ability to restart the world, allowing you to explore alternative storylines with the same or different characters. 
This feature enhances the game's narrative possibilities and encourages players to dive deeper into its universe. With over 40 endings to discover, The Bad End Theater offers an impressive range of outcomes despite its relatively short playtime of 1 to 3 hours. The game's soundtrack further enhances the immersive experience, dynamically adapting to the situations and character choices. The attention to detail adds another layer of depth to the storytelling and keeps players engaged throughout their journey. Additionally, The Bad End Theater caters to a global audience by supporting 14 different languages for the interface and subtitles. This inclusivity allows players from various linguistic backgrounds to fully enjoy and appreciate the game's rich narrative and gameplay mechanics. In summary, The Bad End Theater is an indie gem that takes players on a thrilling journey as both a villain and a hero. Its multiple endings, engaging storyline, and immersive soundtrack make it a recommended choice for those seeking an interactive and thought-provoking gaming experience. And number 7 we have… Get in the car, loser! An enjoyable and occasionally emotionally distressing game that combines elements of a visual novel and a turn-based RPG. In Get in the Car, Loser, you join a group of fan-presenting individuals on a road trip to save the world from an ancient evil. The game consists of two main components, the visual novel segments and the turn-based battles. The visual novel sections focus on character development and world building, featuring lighthearted interactions mixed with darker themes such as gender, sexuality, and domestic abuse. These segments may not be suitable for everyone due to their heavy subject matter. During the road trip, the game introduces a lane-changing system where you decide whom to fight and in what order. By engaging in battle, you earn cash to pay for gas and upgrade your equipment. The combat mechanics can be repetitive and take time to get used to, especially with the hybrid turn-based real-time system that relies on time attacks and staggered enemies. While the combat may feel initially tedious, once you grasp the mechanics and find a rhythm, it becomes an engaging experience. The game's satisfying flow is enhanced by an inclusion of elemental damage, which adds a strategic layer to the battles. It is worth noting that Get In The Car Loser employs a unique item-based leveling system instead of traditional experience points. This system may be confusing at first and would benefit from clearer explanations within the game. Additionally, the combat is optimized for a controller, and using one enhances the gameplay experience. The game's superb music and pixel art visuals contribute to its overall appeal. The soundtrack is catchy and perfectly complements the action, while the pixel art style and portraits add a delightful aesthetic touch. Overall, Get In The Car Loser is a fun game that may evoke various emotions throughout your journey. While the combat can be repetitive, it is enjoyable if you appreciate its mechanics. And that's all for this bundle. This bundle is pretty good if you like some interesting visual novel style hybrid games, combining it with life simulations, RPGs, platformers, and adventure games. It does feel more casual, so for you gamers looking for blood and gore, you won't find it here. In any case, kindly share your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. I look forward to connecting with you in the upcoming video.